The Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation, KDIC, is a state agency established under the Kenya Deposit Insurance Act 2012. Billed as the country's premier resolution authority, the Corporation Formerly Deposit Protection Fund Board operated as a department under the Central Bank of Kenya prior to the review of the KDI Act 2012. Way back in the 80s when, when we had a uh, failure of banks, the rural, urban, the continental, and the idea was mooted of starting a deposit insurance, and it was uh, domiciled at the central bank. <clears throat> Indeed, before that, uh, they, we, we tried to use the concept of what we call consolidation. That's where now you have a consolidated bank, where you take so many distressed institutions and put them under one one shell, then try to see whether it can work. But, but that one has never worked. So there comes in deposit insurance, which indeed was, the idea was mooted in 1986, but started operation in 1989. And uh, 88, there were failures of the same banks I'm talking about, the Rural Urban uh, Continental Bank. So those ones were actually were first given to the official receiver. Then after that, we had these other massive failures of some small banks now which were consolidated under, consolid under consolidated bank. There comes in deposit protection as a unit in central bank. That way it started operation in 1989 with a limited man mandate. The mandate was just to provide deposit insurance and to perform liquidation where the deposit protection is appointed a liquidator by the central bank. Being a watershed period in the country's banking sector, the then massive bank failures in 1993 through 2008 would inform the need to relook into regulation of the banking sector in the country. Come 93, we had another massive failure of banks. 98, we had many bank failures. So that one actually now made the work of the deposit protection become now massive. And it continued with the liquidation process, which actually was the core business then, and the deposit insurance. And of course, <clears throat> and paying out to depositors, both the protected sum and further payments once the assets are, are realized. Flash forward 2008, an idea was mooted that I think now we need now to take a leapfrog uh, to go into now deposit insurance. So, and the study was done by the international experts. They reviewed the whole setup and they picked on some gaps which actually were identified. One of the gaps was that there was no specific act to drive the mandate. Operational autonomy was also picked as one, one of the gaps. And uh, it was thought it prudent now to actually also upgrade the mandate from what we call a pay box plus, that is the deposit insurance, <clears throat> to now what we call a risk minimizer. When we looked at that act, it also did not give the deposit insurance the mandate and the powers that is supposed to be vested on the deposit insurance, which is the resolution side. So we did an amendment to the Act in 2013 uh, through the help of still the World Bank. They got us a consultant who worked very closely with us. Then we now created an additional uh, responsibility called uh, making KDIC the sole and exclusive resolution authority in the country. That's where now the resolution options were also now anchored in our law. And uh, thanks to that, you saw what happened in uh, Chess Bank. Chess Bank never went into liquidation 100%. 75% was carved out. And Imperial 2, part of it is being carved out. So all this is thanks to the amendment to the law that we made, which now gives now KDIC the powers now to exercise some of those functions which were missing before. That review of the Act would usher in a new dispensation with the revamped corporation mandated to provide a deposit insurance scheme for customers of member institutions, provide incentives for sound risk management and prompt resolution of problem banks. 
And so with the KDR Act 2012 as the springboard, the corporation has been on a mission aimed at ensuring it lived up to its billing. The one thing I want us to make it to make it very clear here is that KDA, DPF used to be known as the liquidator. Those are the people who close the banks. KDIC is not closing banks. KDIC is going to try as much as possible not to have any bank closed in this country. And indeed, we have come up with um, we have come up with a course. You know, we as human beings, we must have a course that we pursue. And the cause is zero bank failures in Kenya. And indeed, KDIC is styled, fashioned, it is configured to attain that, working very closely with the central bank, the national treasury, and its membership, who are the banks and the microfinances. Once all of us work in tandem, we can resolve problem banks at an early stage before it becomes chronic. We have created very good working relationship with most of the government agencies. Now when we talk about resolution, you go to most of them, they understand what we do and they are willing to support us. That has been a very added plus to us. The first major milestone that we took is that we raised the coverage from 100,000 per, per depositor to 500,000, five times. Indeed, the study which was done by the World Bank was kind of recommending 250,000. But we at KDIC, we said, no, let's indeed uh, compensate our people. So we doubled it to 500,000. However, at 500,000, we are covering 99% of the deposit accounts. And the first beneficiaries of the 500,000 was Chase Bank and now Charterhouse. The residue, the residue bank of Chase Bank, which was put in, in liquidation, and Charterhouse, which is now the latest kid on the block as far as liquidation is concerned. However, it hasn't been a walk in the park for the nascent corporation. The sheer determination of KDIC's leadership supported by a resilient and result-oriented human resource has continued to propel the corporation towards achieving its vision, and that is to be a premier deposit insurance scheme. This quest is guided by a strategic plan that was carefully crafted, reflecting the aspirations of the corporation. One of the major challenges is uh, what I call uh, awareness, public awareness. And indeed we have, uh, it, it's, it's part of our strategic plan, the stakeholder engagement. We want the public to identify with the deposit insurance, to appreciate the role of the deposit insurance. Indeed, a friend was telling me the other day, somebody asked, where was this deposit insurance before? So we want the public to really appreciate the deposit insurance, okay? Of course, we are also we, we, we are also alive to any other challenges which is happening in the country. The pandemic, okay. Even in the pandemic, we worked very closely with our with our membership. We even gave them some breathers on payment of their premiums. We even gave ourselves a breather of one year to start the the the, the risk risk based premium. Okay. The other challenge which actually we are also addressing now is about data. Data warehouse is one of our other, this is part of our infrastructural development. Sure, check out for a KDIC sticker in your banking hall. KDIC, protecting your deposits. We have already developed a very good working relationship with the banks. And uh, all that is required is for us to, once we are done with the system, because at the moment we're in that the stage at which we are implementing that system from our side. Uh, what we'll do is that once we are done with the system and it's ready for all out, we just need to do a consensitization with our member institution, with the, that the banks. And, uh, you know, it is going to, the, the, the perception is not bad because one, we've been having scenarios where the banks feel that they spend a lot of time trying to send the data, which sometimes, you know, it has a very large bandwidth and also the security when you are sending through the email is not very strong. So we believe uh, that the, 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 the new system will help us now improve on our, the data integrity that we are receiving or are sharing with the banks or they are sharing with us. And also we'll also cut down on the time spent to send this data. 
And uh, importantly is that it's going to ensure the security of that data. One of the biggest challenges we face when you enter into liquidation stage is that you are taking over institutions that you have no complete records. So you have to reconstruct your records to identify if David or Peter had a role in this bank, do you have the necessary document to support your claim? There is the issue of the systems, uh, which has been a big challenge to us. You know the corporation is at its formative stages and there are, there are very few, there are instances whereby we, you know, we are trying to put the systems in place. So this has been one of our key challenges. Of course, we also have the other challenge of the, the, the human capital, whereby you know, risk and examination is a very unique uh, area. And uh, even when we want to get people who can come and you know, do the job, the kind of the job that we are doing, sometimes it becomes very difficult because there is no college or a school around that it teaches about the deposit insurance. So this is an area whereby we have also been struggling. Uh, and even when you want to, the people that we are around here, if you want to, to go for a training, a particular training, like say bank examination, uh, you can only do it maybe in FDIC, uh, US, where again even getting that time slot or, you know, that opportunity is equally very difficult. We do not have uh, many institutions locally that can offer a training on bank examinations and also in deposit insurance. So we had to rely either online training or you know going out, th out there to do our training. So we have been able to bring on board uh, almost 50 members of staff uh, who are now full employees, full-time employees of KDIC. We have also been able to upgrade our ICT infrastructure, which uh, includes the software and the hardware. We have also been able to acquire the work environment, which are our current new offices. We have also put in place the strategy, uh, 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 a document that uh, 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 elaborates on what the corporation uh, uh, plans to achieve within a five period, five year period. Uh, I wish to note that we are now in the fourth year. We've just started the fourth year. And then we have also been actively mobilizing the resources that are, the financial resources that are useful uh, uh, for these operations. In order to address the challenges aimed at achieving its mandate, KDAC continues to employ a number of strategies such as innovation, stakeholder management and risk-based premium model that are seen the bank's annual premium levied according to their respective risk appetite. They say a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step and true to that more than 30 years down the line, KDAC has no doubt lived up to that billing. With that in mind, Mohamud says that part of his strategy will be majorly on stakeholder engagement. Because examination is the first stage of resolution. So in examination, what have we done? We have actually upped our game by introducing what we call the risk-based premium, where now premiums of the banks, will, banks will be charged premiums in accordance with their risk profile. We have uh, done a lot of sensitization to the bank, we have shared with them the model, and we have come up with a very simple model that even a class five child can actually go through it and understand what we're talking about. What we're saying is that it is the flat rate which was there before, plus X, where we're saying X is your risk profile, okay? So this is part of the incentive to the banks, to provide incentives to the bank to review their risk framework so that they can actually now prudently, and, what, and the word I like using, jealously, guard the deposits, which is to me, the deposit in the bank, staying in the bank, is a national asset. Because that too is what belongs to the Wanjikos, to the Fatumas, to the Atienos. Uh, the legal framework of risk-based premium is basically a, a section 27, subsection 1 of, the, of KDI Act 2012, which states that the corporation uh, shall charge premium 
uh, based on the risk of the bank. We are also looking at alternative dispute resolution as a way to do undertake resolution. And this will, inquire, will involve engagements with all the stakeholders, mainly the debtors, so that we avoid the issue of going to court to have our matters determined in the court. Because our objective is one, an institution has failed, uh, a, deposit, a, de, a borrower or a debtor owed money to this institution, they come, agree, we agree on a payment framework, and they pay. It's less costly, it's less acrimonious, and also takes a shorter time. And all of us will leave having been satisfied as we have contributed by timely resolving the bank, the owner of the security have gotten back their property. We will fully embrace digital banking so that the customers can be able, not only being paid convenience. for convenience, not only being paid and also paying as such, it is the conviction of the KDIC's leadership that an empowered staff is critical in the fulfillment of its mission. KDIC is a knowledge-based institution. So training is part of our core and one of our core objectives here, both locally and internationally. And uh, staff empowerment is one of our priorities because staff are actually the engine that will run this corporation. We cannot have staff who are not well empowered. And I always remind them about our core values, which we have codenamed as PICFIT. It's professionalism, integrity, customer experience, and fairness, innovation, and teamwork. We are continuously investing in their training. We identify their skills gaps, noting that uh, the deposit insurance area is a unique area we are capacity building our employees in that area. We are also implementing performance management systems, reward and sanction systems that will ensure that our employees perform optimally. We are also uh, 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 looking at uh, the various initiatives that can make these employees be able to work together as a team. Working with KDC, I would say, you know, uh, seeing that depositors at the end of the day are able to get their money, for me, that will be the highlight. So, yeah, you know, we put all our efforts to ensure we recover the money, um, the debts that we have, to, uh, at the end of the day, to pay depositors their money. So, so far, I will say the protected amounts that we paid in uh, Chess Bank and um, um, Charter House. I'll say that has been the highlight. The most uh, exciting or attractive thing that I've enjoyed here is the, the people uh, and the culture that we've been able to form. And because we work as a team, that really uh, excites me. What attracts me most about working in KDIC is that I'm able to serve the people of Kenya, especially the less unsophisticated customers who have been able to put their money in their, in their banks and by my role being here it means I can assure Kenyans that their money is safe in whatever banks they're able to put their money and in so doing they're not worried that uh, uh, their money is going to disappear or something like that. They just know that their, bank, their, their money is safe in the banks where they've put their money. We have a learning culture and this learning culture you find that we have those who are already experts in DI, they are willing to share and they are willing to learn uh, with us, those who do not understand, because honestly it's my first time to have interacted with the concept on a deeper level. So that makes me yearn to learn more about this concept and to be able also to see it live to have many other DIs established within East Africa. But even as KDAC continues to ensure the safety of your bank deposits, the corporation believes in the transformation of lives. Consequently, KDAC has fostered mutual partnerships with a number of stakeholders courtesy of the CSR program. We want to touch lives of our depositors. And uh, one project that we are always proud of is I remember in 2019, I challenged my people, told them, why can't we uh, identify a needy hospital. I just, picked, I just said the name Tana River. Just came out of my mind, Tana River. 
one of the remotest places, and then we can see how we can equip it. So we identified a hospital, a health center called Mwenje, Mwenje, in inside Tana River, where mothers were giving birth outside the hospital. And today we are proud to say that KDIC has equipped that hospital, that indeed the team who went there the other day say that over 200 mothers have given birth in very clean, healthy, and medically sound environment. And imagine the people they are bringing to the world, those will be our future depositors. So it's in line with our protecting our depositors, even potential depositors. So that is one project that we're very proud of. Two, we are also working, we have been working very closely with, uh, with uh, the spinal, that, that the spinal and uh, Mbagadi. Indeed, in Mbagadi, we are now in the process of uh, equipping the new wards, which of course they have also said that they'll call it the KDIC ward. We have also put sheds there. I was happy the other day when I went there to see it was raining. And now people now are actually sitting under those well done sheds, which actually can sit up to 300 people. We have put about three of them. And we've also done the, the walkaways and we are putting now kind of uh, canopies so that when people are visiting the hospital, even if it's raining, they can access, trolleys can be, and the stretchers can also be moved. So, and that is, that is, that is one area, the, the health sector. That, is, that was our small contribution to the health sector, but we'll continue. Then we have this major campaign that I kick-started of planting 10,000 trees within, within this season. We started it in a school, actually deep, inside uh, Kiambu and I planted trees there and actually I've just got a letter from the school saying that the trees are doing very very well because we told the head teacher please make sure that we'll be visiting and we'll be monitoring these trees. So now we are supplying seedlings to most of the schools in the in, in you, you know in the country. Soon we'll also be going to northern Kenya to plant trees and that will be we want to make it our annual event because we, we want to contribute to the 10% forest cover which is a government strategy. With the successes, KDAC has within a short time carved a niche for itself, ranking highly amongst its peers across the region. In 2016, we are, both, we are uh, voted the best deposit insurer worldwide. So most of other deposit insurance looked for Kenya for advice, especially on resolution. They'll be seeking, they seek to understand how do you deal with it. So they find our act as their guiding principle. So you find there is a lot of consultation that they keep on channeling to us. So especially in Africa, uh, we sit in a position that uh, where people see us as among the most advanced deposit insurance that they seek to run from. Nigeria Deposit Insurance is the first African deposit insurance to close a bank on a Friday and open on a Monday. That is what happens with FDIC of America. And indeed, for us, that is where we want to reach with our resolution. There's no magic there. The magic is six months prior to that, what you can call a flash transfer of reopening the bank. Six months before that, or even eight months before that, the deposit insurance is actually in that bank, sits in that bank together with the, with the bank supervision team. And they look at the bank, they start coming up with scenarios until they get the right scenario. It's when now on a Friday, they close Muhammad Bank, Monday they open Chris Bank. Okay? Then depositors won't even know even if there are changes and all that. And they continue doing their business. There will be no run on that bank. This one is only possible with a very effective and strong, uh, what I call information sharing mechanisms and uh, partnerships with the, the national, with the national treasury and the central bank and the membership. Following this global recognition, KDAC CEO Mohamud Ahmed Mohamud was unanimously endorsed by the African Regional Committee ARC IADI as the new chair. Being the chairman of the African Regional Committee, I'm head of all the, the, uh, the whole of Africa region. Indeed, my priority is, number one, is to deepen, to grow, and to enhance interagency relationships. Indeed, if I can only achieve that, 
then I think I have achieved everything else because that is what is lacking in our continent. Two is also to support countries that don't have deposit insurances with capacity and ideas on how to start deposit insurances. Indeed, for us, when I, you know, I also sit in the International Association of Deposit Insurers Board, I'm a board member, and uh, we look at Africa as the next frontier for deposit insurance growth. And indeed, that is another kind of uh, initiative that I really want to propel under my chairmanship to support the African countries to start deposit. And the ones who already have deposit insurances is also to enhance those deposit insurances. Indeed, we have had very good meetings, uh, our regional committee uh, meetings, uh, also supported by the IRD Secretariat. And we are coming up with very, very good initiatives. Several countries have now embraced deposit, the deposit insurance concept. We are seeing countries now starting deposit insurances in Africa. So we need, we need indeed to support them. And I always say that KDIC will be the future hub of deposit insurance in Africa. And so what next for KDIC? People now are appreciating the role of KDIC. And of course, this is also part of the journey that we have to take for Kenyans to understand because when they hear the deposit insurance, they used to know the old deposit insurance which was closing their banks, not paying them their money, you see, impoverishing them. But we're telling them, this is the one to empower you. And that is the journey we want you to take with us because even the public, once they have the confidence with the deposit insurance, in case of any problem in a bank, there will be no run on that bank, okay? Like, uh, I normally like uh, I'm quoting the Federal Deposit Insurance of America. They have a clip called the 60 minute takeover of an institution. You find somebody coming, the bank has been closed, somebody coming with his briefcase, but when he sees the sticker out there that this bank now is under FDIC, he goes back with the bank. He's not going to collect any money. We want to focus on what is anchored in our strategic plan as timely resolution. Timely resolution may, means making the right decision at the right time for the benefit of depositors and creditors. We envision a situation where in the unlikely event a bank is placed in a silvership, we should be able to resolve it within the shortest time possible. While the journey of a thousand miles is yet to be completed, it is evident that the distance covered this far is a step in the right direction and stakeholders can only be confident that the bank deposits are safe and sound. Depositors, KDIC is your corporation. KDIC, the formation of KDIC is to protect depositors and know that KDIC is there for you. So whenever you see the KDIC sticker, know that it's a member bank of KDIC. So what I'm advising the depositors, please put your money in licensed banks and microfinances. Invest in those banks. Don't put your savings under the mattress. Put your savings in the banks. And one thing we want to assure them is that our uh, kind of our drive is to ensure zero bank failures in Kenya. So we want to assure you that we have all it takes, the capacity, the knowledge to resolve problem banking in our country. KDIC, protecting your deposits.